As Muslims, we know that there are many types of sins. And we know that Allah commands us to avoid sin as much as possible. In this video, we will tackle an important topic focusing on sins that we as Muslims must avoid. It is important to understand these sins and their consequences in order to lead a righteous life and obtain the pleas of Allah Ta'ala. Because there is a great sin whose consequences are unforgivable and will take us to hellfire. The first great sin that we must avoid is shirk. Shirk is the greatest sin in Islam. Short description, shirk means to associate Allah with something else and to be dependent on something other than Allah. And the sin of shirk is the greatest sin that puts people to hell. Sometimes we do it without realizing it. There is so many verses explain about shirk. Allah said in the Quran. Indeed, Allah will not forgive sin for associating partners with him, and Allah forgives what sins other than shirk for whoever Allah wills. Whoever associates partners with Allah, then indeed, he has committed a grave sin. The sin of shirk requires further study to truly understand it, so that we don't misinterpret it. Therefore, this one sin requires special attention if we are want to be saved from hellfire. And don't forget to always ask Allah guidance and tawfiq. So we can avoid from this sin. We all know the devil's story. When Allah commanded them for prostrate to Adam, but they refused. It's because they are arrogant and feel they have more values than Adam. But they missed something. They forgot who giving the command. Then Allah Ta'ala brings them out of heaven and humiliates them forever. Next hadith on the dangers of arrogance. No one will enter paradise who has a mustard seed's weight of arrogance in his heart. A man asked, in fact, everyone likes good clothes, good sandals, is that arrogance? Razalullah peace be upon him replied, indeed, Allah is beautiful and loves beauty. Arrogance means rejecting the truth and demeaning people. If I may sharing advice, instill in us that everything belongs only to Allah. Whatever we have in this world is only a deposit from Allah as a test, and the time will come when we will be held accountable for what Allah has entrusted to us. We hope that by instilling this in our minds and hearts, we can get rid of this self-arrogance because Allah created us with weak nature. This is the sin that drove Adam peace be upon him out of heaven faster. And this sin is one of the lessons of Adam's story. It looks small but it's actually big, and it's very dangerous if we're not pay attention to this sin. Many people are so careless about this sin that they end up regretting it. Because greed makes us forget to thank Allah for all the joy Allah has given us. Allah explains in Surah at Takasur from the beginning until the end of Surah. Surah at Takasur shows a very clear emphasis on the dangers of greed. And the following hadith provides a very clear metaphor for the dangers of greed. From Ka'ab bin Malik, he said, Razalullah peace be upon him said, Two hungry wolves released in the middle of a herd of goats, are not more destructive than human greed for wealth and position which greatly damages his religion. May this video can add to our knowledge about the dangers of sins for us. And make us more careful of a sin. So that we can become Muslims who are blessed by Allah. And reunite in heaven. God bless you all.